Hey everyone, it's Mark, and um, what I've got going on here right now for the Zombie Pirate update <clears throat> is um, I got this sheet of paper, and I've actually cropped, I've cut out a lot of stuff that was in this frame, because this is part of uh, one of the gags in the film, and what I, what I needed was to have a printout of this, the exact size of the frame, um, so that I could have these little hearts and these hearts are going to come out of, of Ruble's head. Uh, he falls in love with the zombie and he jumps on her and uh, you know there's hearts in his eyes and then kind of like a comical way I just want to have little hearts kind of emanating from his head um, almost like you would see in a comic book, right? So uh, what I have here is a piece of plexiglass and underneath this plastic it's clean and so uh, I'm going to remove that later but what I need to do is uh, I need to mount this plexiglass in front of our green screen. Of course, I'm going to have all this stuff out of the way. And you'll be able to see through it. And it'll be up like this. And then I'm going to film the hearts. I'm going to light the hearts, you know, with my lights uh, to make them look like they fit into the scene. And then I'm going to uh, animate them. But what I want to do is I wanted to have this printout so I can see... Uh, how much I had to make, you know, how many hearts, how many, uh, how much space is going to take up in the frame, and then I'm probably going to um, animate these on paper. So I'm going to flip, you know, sheets of paper back and forth and see how they look, and then I'm going to animate them using my web camera just to test the motion and the timing of the hearts. So I'm probably going to shoot these on twos so that I don't have to make a lot of hearts, but I'm probably going to have like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six six hearts per cycle so that's a quarter of a second from when it starts out small to where it gets big and then it might just like pop like like a you know like a like you've blown a bubble or something and it just pops in the air so I might have like little lines that shoot out from the edges and see how that looks but um, this here gives me a, a starting point where I can you know figure out what I'm gonna do and uh, you know, hopefully it turns out nice. So what I'm probably going to do next is I'm going to create the base of this plastic glass. And it's going to have to be 90 degrees on my desk, like this. And uh, probably going to take just a piece of wood, probably drill a couple of holes in here, and carefully screw it to a piece of wood, which I can then clamp to the table uh, somewhere. Not really sure if I'm going to do it out this far, or maybe I'll have a piece that goes like this. So anyway, I'll show you guys what that looks like once I'm done. Okay, so here's the setup, and um, as I said, I still have to animate some of these hearts, and probably gonna do that on some paper and make it look nice first, pre-animate it uh, or test animate it, and then um, you can see uh, here's the plastic glass, and it's, since it's clear, you can see right through it. Um, got some sawdust on here, it looks like, but uh, I'll clean that all off. I'll, I'll use my duster that you can see behind there, and just dust all this stuff off. And then the clay that I make, you can see it's going to be back here, it's going to be slightly less red than what you're seeing here. I'm going to put some brown that's next to it and mix it in with it so it's not as vivid. And what I'm going to have to do is when I stick that clay on here to animate it, I'll probably just take, the, take my paper and I'm going to register it. Maybe I'm going to take some dry erase markers and put little dots in each of the corners. And then the static will just, I guess, you know, it just seems kind of convenient. There's static electricity on here, so I'll probably just, you know, stick it on like this. And then in the front part, what I'll do is I'll take the, the clay, and, you know, this would be like frame one here, and then frame two, and then three. I'll have one here, four, five, six. And I'll just do it like that. And then uh, I think that'll work out pretty good. And as I remove the clay, I'll have to clean it probably with some alcohol and a cotton ball so that I don't leave a little grease streak behind all these hearts. But uh, that will be composited over the shot so when Ruble is, you know, in the frame like this, you know, the hearts will just kind of come out. So that's the idea. And the base here is just some MDF wood. This was from some kind of a thing my son had, like a train... Um, play set and it had a big piece of wood and um, a design on top. It was so big that 
you know, I took it apart, and my son wasn't really playing with it anyway. And so it just happened to work out perfect for this, where I put a couple of, or three, um, screws behind it. And you can see I drilled out the holes in the plastic glass, screwed it on, and that's really it. It's really simple. So, uh, now I'm going to get on to, um, drawing some hearts on paper and seeing how it looks. Okay, so I did a quick test and I decided not to uh, to do two-dimensional drawings and animate those, but instead I, what I did is I drew some hearts on this paper where I'd like the, the hearts to emanate out of um, Rubble's head. And so I just kind of figured out how much space it would require in the frame, the final frame, um, for the hearts. And then um, drew, drew three lines and so I'll have <clears throat> the hearts kind of coming out of his head, they start out small, obviously, and get bigger. And then, uh, so I decided to try shooting these on twos. So, one, you know, first, first heart, second, third, fourth. And this is what it looks like. Just as a rough test, obviously. So, <clears throat> I didn't care about registration of the paper or anything like that. I just wanted to get a rough idea of what it could look like. And so... I kind of like the way it looks, even though I didn't space that center one coming off, you know, properly, because I, I didn't put anything, write anything down on paper. I don't, I don't have an exposure sheet, so, but um, it looks pretty good, I think. But the real test will be how it looks in the final shot, and um, you know, obviously, I won't have this paper here. So for in between frames, I'll just remove this, and I'll probably register it. This is just as I did here where I, I'm going to line up this right edge with the right edge of the plexiglass and then along the bottom here as well. So, and of course I'll be able to to tell how things look with my frame grabber. This is Stop Motion Pro. So anyway, that's it for this update and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more updates in the future. Thank mm -hmm. you.